There once was a time when man turned to the gods for guidance. The belief in the gods was so strong that man prayed to them and worshipped them without question. While man resided in the land of Midgard, or what they would call Earth, the gods resided in their home beyond reality, a land called Asgard. There was a balance. For every death, there would be life. For every sadness, there would be happiness. And for every good deed, there would be evil. Originally, man had a symbiotic relationship with the gods. But unfortunately, some things don't last. A group of mortals calling themselves the Dawi Raisa, the Death Risers, believed that by worshipping evil they would be able to bring about that which even the gods fear. Ragnarok. Eventually, as guardians and the world of mortals would become divided. Great wars would take place causing man to doubt the divine grace of their former deities. Eventually the Death Risers would fall, and with that their gods vanished forever from Asgard. However, even though the Dawi Raisa fell, they were not forgotten. There would still be those that would wait, wait for the opportunity for their gods to rise again. Wait for the moment that they will rule Midgard and bring about the fall of Asgard. Mankind's lack of faith in the Asgardian gods meant that they could never directly interfere with the actions of men. But with or without their direct interference, the threat of Ragnarok remains.
All right. I need everyone to stay quiet and listen. Make an example. <laughs> Thank you. Now, as I was saying, I need everyone to stay quiet and listen. Is everyone paying attention? Good. We are here looking for a rare artifact. A small artifact. It contains a very important piece of a very special puzzle. My friends and I are putting it together. It is called the Dragon's Cross. Does anyone know of it? It would be a shame to start shooting people. It's bad for business, don't you know? Excuse me. And who might you be? I'm, I'm the curator of this museum. Ah, uh, now we're getting some. So, three seconds. Tell me where it is. Well, one. I, if you would let the people go. Two. Give me a minute. Three. No! A minute. Who has that kind of time? Now, what have we here? Here we go. The gods have smiled down upon you, my friend. You may live another day. You summoned me, Father? Yes, my son. I grow worried for Midgard. The mortals care little about one another. They have strayed so very far from the ways of old. There's more to this thought. I sense it in your voice. I believe that our worst fears will come to fruition. Surely you can't mean- Ragnarok. Yes, the end of days approach us. But you said that they have strayed from the ways of old. How is this possible? While most mortals believe us to be nothing more than a classroom lesson, there are still those that wish to do evil with no fear of retribution. Then I shall travel to Midgard. I shall destroy my father's enemies. I'm afraid that it is impossible for us to travel to Midgard. The mortals have, as I said, all but forgotten about us. We cannot travel between worlds when we do not exist in the hearts of men. It is forbidden. Then what are we to do? Why would you summon me? I realize that it is forbidden to travel to Midgard, but surely you can't expect me to sit and watch Asgard fall. I summoned you because, perhaps, there is another way that we can help, indirectly. Susan Green. Oh, damn, not again. Father, it is as you have said, the Dragon's Cross will soon be in the hands of the Dowry Riser. It has happened faster than I had feared, my son. What now? The prophecy states that upon completion of the Dragon's Cross, they must now find what we once called a demigod. A mortal that carries the bloodline of an Asgardian. Should they summon a god by means of the bloodline, the Midgard Dragon can be awakened with the Dragon's Cross, and with which, Ragnarok shall come forth. Have they found said mortal then? Yes, my son. Then we shall find a mortal of our own, someone with the bloodline of the gods, someone who shall wield my power and use it for good. So, Frank, 
What do you make of it? Not sure. According to the eyewitnesses, the assailants were looking for an amulet of some sort. Like one of the art pieces? Well, that's a strange thing. Forensics came up empty. It appears that not a single thing here was touched. Aside from a few shaky patrons and a curator in shock, you wouldn't know that a single thing's happened here. The curator? I'd like to question him. Not for a while. Paramedics rushed him to emerge. Apparently, according to eyewitness statements, he was shot. Point blank range. But he was wearing something that protected him from the bullet? Again, we're not going to know anything until he comes through it. Thanks, Frank. I'm going to take a look around. Strange. Grant Farrell. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, sir, the suit is almost ready for field testing. No, sir, we have some modifications still to do. I do realize that General Brooks will be at the unveiling, yes, sir. Two weeks tops? Thank you. Goodbye. Would it have killed you to answer it? Is it Major Forrest? Yep. He's a douche. I hate talking to him. The man has no clue as to what he's talking about. Besides, I figure I'd teach you a lesson about sleeping in. Like I need life lessons from you? I'm just saying. Anyway. How's the suit coming along? Not bad. I'm not sure that the suit would be able to withstand the extreme heat yet. Well, here, look. The positive charge will generate through the top and the negative through the feet. Now, as the electrical current increases, the particles will charge and release through the head, right? Right, but the negative charge current, once it leaves the feet and becomes the reticule, still gives off quite a bit of wallop. I still think we're okay. You want to test that theory? Well, I wouldn't want to deprive Sergeant Mills of the honor. So you're sure of your calculations, though? Yes! Earl, you are looking at one kick-ass battlesuit. The only concern I have is the power generators. <laughs> it does look kick-ass, though, huh? So you haven't told me yet. Told you what? Why, you're late. What, you get a chick last night, huh? Yeah, right. You get a little action, huh? Would I look like this if I'd gotten some action? I suppose not, so what gives? I haven't been sleeping well lately. I've been having these strange dreams. <laughs> I once dreamt I was feeding peanut butter to the Loch Ness Monster. So, the one last night was really messed up. How so? Well... There was this robbery at this museum. And these men in black were holding these people hostage or something. Anyway, this old guy runs in to help out, get them to leave without hurting anyone, and then he gets shot, and they take this amulet off him and they run off. Really? Strange, huh? Well, what's strange is it sounds just like the robbery that took place last night. The museum over on 3rd Avenue was robbed and an old man was shot, they said. You kidding me? Not at all, man. I wonder if maybe I heard about it on the news while I was sleeping. Dude, the story broke at 11 a.m. this morning. So, what if... Weird, huh? Did they mention the name Susan Green? Nope. I doubt the old man's name was Susan. Come on, I'm a little freaked out right now. What the hell? So, the Susan Green dream you've had? Drop it. Dad, you didn't have to come all this way just to drop me off. Well, Susan, I dropped you off myself for your first day of elementary school, your first day of middle school, and your first day of high school. I'll be damned if I'm going to miss the opportunity to drop you off on your first day of college. <laughs> it's a three and a half hour drive away. When you showed up at my front door this morning, I was quite surprised to say the least. All the better reason to drop you off then, right? <laughs> I still think you're crazy. I just wanted one last chance to be your daddy before... You know. What? 
Well, after college comes a career, family, your life. No matter what, I'll still need my daddy, okay? I'll be fine. I went through the same thing when I dropped you off at middle school, you know. <laughs> now I know you'll be all right. This is a big school, in a big city. I want... No, I need you to be safe. And I will be. Thanks for dropping me off, Dad. Um, but no need to come pick me up after school, okay? <laughs> no worries. Your mother will kill me once she finds out how much I spent on gas today. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Stay safe, sweetie. I am pleased with the work from last night. The police are now left with more questions than answers. By the time they figure out what we are doing, the end of days will be at hand. And I have more good news. It appears that not only have we located the bloodline that we seek, but I am pleased to say that she is living here in this city. The gods are with us, gentlemen. For it seems that she just recently moved here. Stay focused. It's no time to get sloppy. Tomorrow we strike. Onward to Ragnarok. Yeah! You gonna sit in front of that computer all day or what? Just a second, I'm almost done. Well, whatever you're doing isn't work related, so... Are you gonna tell me or something? No, but I do think that since the project is due to be unveiled in five days that you might want to help get it ready. Now, the battle staff seems to be working well. The electronics are well shielded within the casing. This should provide a decent electric shield when activated. Looks more like a hammer if you ask me. Well, I suppose the insulator does make it look hammer-ish. You about ready to start work yet? Like I said, I'm almost done. This is about that Susan Green thing, isn't it? The news articles mention nothing. And yet, everything I've read with respect to the robberies is a carbon copy of what I dreamt last night. This isn't healthy, Grant. There are 15 Susan Greens within the city limits. I imagine one of them has something to do with the robberies. Well, Colombo? When you solve the mystery of the who knows what, do you mind giving me a hand over here? Here, let me grab that. Look, I'm sorry I've been so useless today. I'm just really freaked out. It's not every day you witness a robbery firsthand from 10 miles away. No worries. I'll need to be sharp tomorrow, though. And no more of the Susan Green nonsense either, all right? Deal. Crap, I forgot my wallet in the desk. You can keep your wallet at your desk. I find it uncomfortable in my pocket. You know, when you sit down, it bunches up if I have it in my front pocket, and if I have it in my back, I'm lopsided. Dude, you're lopsided, all right. I'll see you tomorrow, all right? Okay, later. Hey, at least I remembered my keys. Good for you, dude.
Hello? 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 We're not going to hurt you. Why? My family isn't rich. They, they have no money. You might as well just let me go. This has nothing to do with money. Or your parents, for that matter. This has everything to do with you. Why? I, I haven't done anything. I don't even know who you are. Oh, but we have been waiting for you for such a long time. You see, we need your help with the little project my friends and I are conducting. I won't. I won't do it. I refuse to help you, you criminals. In case you haven't figured it out yet, we don't need your permission. Just you. Soon, it will all become clear. Paging Dr. Ross, please report to emergency immediately. Paging Dr. Ross, please report to emergency immediately. The doctor said I could have a few words with him. Certainly. Uh, if you run into any problems, just push this button. All right. Thank you. Are you sure he's awake? Of course I'm awake. I can't get any sleep with these nurses poking me with needles. Who are you? I'm Detective Bronsky. I wanted to ask you some questions about the robbery. Robbery? Young lady, do you have any idea what those men took from me? No, sir. Uh, that's why I'm here, to find out. Do you enjoy the life you live, Detective? Pardon me? The life you live, the air you breathe, the family you have. Do you enjoy these things? Of course I do. If I could ask you about the robbery, though... This has everything to do with the robbery. What those men took from me. An artifact that has been in my family for generations. Do you have any idea what this means? No, sir. No, I don't. Maybe you could tell me then. The artifact was, was, is, part of an ancient relic called the Dragon's Cross, said to allow a god to take human form and walk the earth. Really? A god to take a human's body? Like a puppet? Don't mock me. I'm serious. You've heard of Norse mythology, right? Like Odin and Thor. Exactly. When these were our gods, the connection was spiritual, yes, but man wanted something more, something tangible. He wanted to hear the answers to his questions from the lips of the gods themselves. Okay. So he invented the Dragon's Cross. Worn by the descendant of a god, it allows that god to take human form and walk the earth, or Midgard. So I wasn't so far off with the puppet idea. I don't care for your tone. Sorry. Um, so a descendant. How exactly is that possible? When belief in the gods was at its highest point, the gods could move freely from Asgard to Midgard. The gods being who and what they are, they would occasionally bed a woman, and from then on, her bloodline would flow with the blood of an Asgardian. So you think that these people are going to... Raise a god, exactly. From the way they're chasing after the amulet, it'll be one we won't want to meet. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, sir. You better hope they don't raise hell. If they do, it'll be the end of days for us all. So what'd he say? Poor guy's lost his mind. He says all that was taken was some amulet. Like a family heirloom or something. <laughs> amulet, huh? Yeah. I need to take a drive. Clear my head. 
Grant? Grant, wake up! What? What? What happened? I was hoping you could tell me. Looks like you had quite the party in here last night. Huh? And no invite, what gives? No? No. This place looks totaled. And you look like shit. I feel... Like shit? No, surprisingly well, actually. So what gives? I'm trying to remember. You came back in here last night to grab your wallet. That's right, I came back in here. All of a sudden, I start hearing this voice call me. Like a lady's voice? I, I don't think so. No, no, it was a man's voice. I'm not sure who. Anyway, it sounded like it was coming from outside. Dude? I know. So I hear this tapping at the door, and I went and checked it out. Uh-huh. And I opened the door, and bang. What, someone shot you? No. Like... Lightning, you know? Bang! What the hell was that? I don't know! Dude, your hand! What the hell? Stop doing that! I can't! I, I don't know how I'm doing it! How am I supposed to stop doing it? I don't know what you're wrecking everything, no! I'm freaking out! Me too! Stop it! I said stop it! How? Put on the suit! What the battle suit? How's that gonna help? It insulates against extreme heat. Put it on before you destroy the place. Now! What the hell, dude? I don't get it. You're like Electric Man or something. I know. At least things have calmed down for a second. You know, on a positive note, it looks like we solved the power issue with the suit. Earl. What? Shut up. Well, we did. Looks like I'm gonna have to wear this for the meantime. At least until I figure out what the heck is going on. I'll show you. Show me what? Huh? You said you were gonna show me what was going on. No, I didn't. You probably have, like, an electroshock thing going on in your brain or something. I need to get some fresh air. Be back in a bit. Don't zap anyone when you're gone, alright? Like I said, shut up. What the hell's wrong with me? Nothing at all, Grant. Who said that? Hey, show yourself! Very well. Are... Are you a ghost? No, Grant. That's good. So I'm only going crazy then. I'm Thor. Crazier than I thought. Allow me to explain. Oh yeah, well you're here, might as well, huh? You've been chosen, Grant, to be Midgard's champion. A series of events unfold as we speak. Sinister events that shall end the world as you know it. So you're saying that, that you did this to me? Yes, Grant. You are from a noble bloodline. One that involves the gods themselves. That is why you have been chosen. And, and what if I don't want to be this champion, then what? Then all that you hold dear will become destroyed. However, I know you, Grant. I know that you are a good man. I also know that you will not say no. The prophecy has decreed that this is how things shall unfold. So, what do I do now? Do you think it is by chance that the suit that you now wear is the only one in existence that is able to contain the power that you now possess? Even your friend noted that one of the accessories is shaped like a hammer. So you're saying... Nothing is left to chance. Yeah, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm more than a little freaked out right now. Fear not. 
The gods are with you. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish that helped. Yeah, why, why don't you just come down here and take care of this? Why me? It is forbidden. However, I shall be with you every step of the way. I shall guide you and provide you with answers to your questions. So I'm not going crazy then? Not at all. Says the ghost in the alleyway. Look, Ren, I'm sorry about before. Don't worry about it. I've had a chance to cool off a bit. Fresh air did do some good? Among other things. Oh yeah, like what? Uh, I'll tell you later. Oh hey, can you pass me the helmet for a sec? Well, if you ask nicely. Please, will you pass me the helmet? That's better. Just because you shoot bolts of lightning out of your hands doesn't excuse you from lack of manners. Why, thank you, Mother. She'd be happy to see you behave like a gentleman. What do you think? Looks great. You planning on going outside dressed like that? Because, dude, that's awesome. Let me help you train. Train? Well, yeah, figure out what you can do. You can be a superhero. Uh, I wasn't planning on involving you, actually. I don't want you to get hurt. And I'm not a superhero. Hey, come on, man. I helped design the suit. I at least deserve the chance to help out when it's taken out for a test drive. I... Please. I... Come on. You're not going to stop, are you? Not a chance, dude. Then fine, you can help out. But only till we see what this suit can do, understand? Completely. Well, all right then. Let's go. So are you serious then? Yep. Thor himself. It's crazy. As crazy as a guy who shoots bolts of lightning out of his hands. Well, that's pretty much why I believe you. Thanks, by the way. For what? For helping me out with my crisis here. Dude, any chance I get to help out a real life superhero, I'm gonna jump at it. I'm not a superhero. Whatever you say. Thanks anyway. So what do you do now? The Susan Green thing? That's what I was thinking. Of all the Susan Greens who live in the city, there are three who live in that three block radius. Well, no wonder, it's right downtown. Exactly. We either find her tonight or we at least eliminate one fifth of the possibilities. Makes sense, you need backup? Uh, it should be all right. The suit's like armor. As far as firepower goes, I've got all that I need. I'll have my phone on tonight if you need anything. Thanks, Earl. You're a good friend. Pay attention. That does two things. One, it makes sure that everyone is listening. Two, it keeps the hero content at zero. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We are here for one thing and one thing only. The Dragon's Cross. What? Nothing? I don't believe I stuttered when I asked. Where is the location of the Dragon's Cross? Anyone? I'm going to ask one more time. Where is the Dragon's Cross? Excuse me, sir? You. I, I believe you shot the owner when you came in. You believe I shot the owner? What, of the museum? I should do a lot of things. Sir. I think I found something. I don't pay you to think. Show me. Right this way. The work. Freeze! Nobody move! Well, well, well. What do we have here? A super cop? Put your guns on the ground and kick them toward me. Are you serious? You're severely outnumbered, little girl. Backup is on the way. You'd best do as I say. I might, and I might not. How about this, rookie? Turn around and walk away, and I don't kill you and everyone else in this place. Just put down your damn guns! I don't suppose now would be a good time to tell you to look behind you, would it? I'm not taking my eyes off you. Besides, that's the oldest trick in the book. I'm not falling for your little cliché. Oh! Stupid woman. They're called clichés for a reason. What do you want us to do with the rest of the hostages, sir? I don't like hostages. Let's leave the police a message. A message? You know what to do. Paint our symbol on the walls. I want to see if the Donut Brigade is actually as smart as they think they are. We'll take along the Super Cop as collateral. Yes, sir. Come on, Green. Get it together. This is your big chance. Thunderstorm to the rescue! Ah, oh, that's so stupid. Stop! Boom. You're gonna have to be a better shot than that, son. Really? Here's a better shot, then! or not, but I just saved your life. You might want to show some appreciation. You want appreciation? How's this? What are you, crazy? No, I'm a cop. Oh, great. Yeah, great. And you're coming in for questioning. Which way? the Asgardian bloodline we require. Yeah! We also possess two of the three pieces of the Dragon's Cross. Yeah! yeah. However, the third piece still manages to elude us. But, as always, I have a plan. Tonight, we raise hell! Yeah! yeah. If you wish to scream, now would be the time. Let us proceed with the chant. Dowie rise a hell. 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 
Do we rise a hell? 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 Do we Somebody get the lights! You have done well. I trust you've had no problems. There was one interference, my queen. Mm. A man who could harness lightning. Lightning? Thor. What would you have us do, your majesty? Find out who the interloper is. <laughs> Perhaps we shall pay a visit and teach him the meaning of Penance. I did take this from him. The man wielded it. What does it do? I'm not sure. He was using it as a weapon. It looked quite powerful, which is the reason why I took it to begin with. I haven't figured out how to use it, though. <clears throat> Sir, it's a conducting rod. It's part of a suit being developed by the government. The large end holds most of the electronics, but unless you have the suit that goes with it, you're not going to have much luck with it. And might I ask who the makers of this would be then? Working on it now, and better yet, sir, I have the name of the developers as well as an address. It's a research and development lab located not too far from here. Good work. Yes. Let's check in on them, <laughs> shall we? <laughs> Are you sure about this? Well, he has something to do with the series of robberies. You know we have no reason to hold him beyond 24 hours, though. I'm hoping he doesn't know that. And if he lawyers up, I know he has something to do with this. He looks like a nut job in a suit to me. I know. Have you had a look at him? Do you know what he looks like? We have many of the robbers on camera and could ID him if you did. No. It's the first thing I want to get out of the way, though. Well, we haven't got much time. I understand, Chief. Hopefully this guy likes to talk. Good luck. <sighs> Take the goddamn helmet off. I told you, I can't. And why the hell not? Worried about your secret identity? Well, that too, I suppose, now that you mention it. Listen, smartass. But mostly it's, um, a medical condition. A medical condition? The lightning thing. The suit's insulated. It's protecting me and everyone else from getting zapped. Try. Okay. I'll do my best to control it. All right, uh, so you just randomly showed up in the middle of a robbery? Yes. <laughs> really? Do you know what the thieves are after? This, this is the second such incident. Eyewitnesses claim that none of the museum pieces were of interest, but the curator from the first robbery said that a family heirloom was stolen. Was it an amulet by any chance? Yes. He did use that term for it, an amulet. A very powerful one. One that can end the world as we know it. You too. The old man was going on about the same thing. Then doesn't it warrant a little closer examination then? 
from an old coot and a... Quite honestly, I don't know what. Here, have a seat. Look, you wanted to bring me in for questioning. You need some answers. Well, I have them, all right? So take a seat, will you? There. I'll entertain this little charade for a while, but I only have so much patience, okay? Just give me a minute, all right? That's all I ask for. Whenever you're ready. Oh, great. The amulet that the thieves took. No, wait. Are you familiar with Norse mythology? Yeah, the curator mentioned something about Norse mythology. So you're familiar with it then? A little. Why? There are things in this world that work on faith and faith alone. Science doesn't have a place in these things. Are you some kind of religious fanatic? No, I'm not. But there's a group that is. And these are men who know the ways of the old and plan on starting Armageddon. A holy war. Worse. Imagine if the whole world opened up and swallowed all of us whole. You're talking end of days? Yeah, well, better known to Norse followers as Ragnarok. You've got to be kidding me. Are you drunk? You actually believe all this craziness. <laughs> I mean, of course you do. Look at you. You're hopeless. And you're going to get locked up if you don't start talking. You seem to know these details about the robberies. Why wouldn't I think you're involved? Because... What are you doing? Stop that. This. My thoughts are this. You're gonna have a hard time explaining what just happened here. As far as I can see, legally you have no reason to hold me. So I think you should let me go. Now you're welcome to come along with me. You wanna crack this robbery case? This is your chance to do it. If you so much as look at me funny... They'll shoot me. I know. Let's go. Glenda, you okay? Sure, Chief. I don't know what happened. This place is a zoo. No one goes anywhere, got it? No problem. It looks like a circuit blue or something. Thank God for backup power, though. Remember, stay put. Now get this, Kelly. According to reports just released to the media, a man escaped from police custody this evening. The individual in question was being questioned by police when the precinct suffered a power failure. Oh, geez. Grant, what are you up to? The suspect somehow managed to slip out under the cover of darkness and elude police. Here's the funny part, folks. The escapee was apparently dressed like, get this, a superhero. That's right, folks, a superhero. While this does sound incredibly strange, the suspect is reported to be armed and dangerous. I wonder what happens next. Who the hell are you? You can't come in here. Sit down. You're a funny little man, aren't you? What? Me? Well, I'm certainly not referring to him. What do you know of this? Where... where did you get that? Someone left it lying around. Someone who is interfering in matters that are not their concern. Someone who does not understand the consequences of his action. Well, I don't know anything about that. I think you do. You know, for a funny little man, quite cute. I... what? Hmm, I think it's your eyes. Yes, there we go. I don't know what you want. You know, when there's a mutual attraction, some people say there's electricity in the air. Have you ever heard that saying? Why, yes, but like I was saying... Some people say that sparks fly. Are we sure it was him? Well, if it is, he's dead now. And if not? Well, he will have received a message he won't soon forget. 
my queen. Mm-hmm, yes. We still require the final piece of the dragon's cross. Really? A smart man like yourself, not able to figure it out. It is still hidden. Forgive me, I have failed you. Well, let's return to the lair. Let us waste no time in finding the final piece. Tonight, we shall strike. I will have the men ready. <laughs> just over here. So is it like a supermobile or something? Do you have gadgets popping out the sides? Or wings or cool lights? It's right over there. It should be interesting. This is it? Uh-huh. Doesn't really match up with the suit. What gets me from point A to point B? It is an electric car. Doesn't take gas. Not impressed, huh? Well, shall we? Uh, yeah. Sure. Where to? Well, I gotta get a few things in my lab. Your lab? <laughs> You're some kind of doctor? Wait, no. Mad scientist? Yeah. We should get going. Is everything else in place? Yes, my queen. The men are setting up the space for the ritual. You have made me proud. It has been far too long since I've walked upon the ground of Midgard. We have waited a long time for this. Indeed. And I have waited an eternity. Let us go forth and get the final piece. My queen, the men are ready. Are you certain it is located there? I watched it placed there from the depths of Helheim itself. The piece is buried in the foundation of the old playhouse. How would I ever have figured that out? You go yourself and get it. Which part of the foundation is it buried in? Now that I expect you to find out on your own. <laughs> Looks like hell. It smells like a gun's been fired. Oh my god. What is it? Look. Earl! Earl, talk to me! Grant? Is that you, buddy? Yeah, it, it's me. Who did this? It was this, this lady. She looked like some sort of Renaissance festival reject. This dude dressed in black. But why? They had your hammer. I guess you pissed them off. I I'm so sorry, Earl. Don't be. This is the coolest thing I've ever been a part of. Not much of a geek like me, but I'll take what I can get. They said they were going to find the final piece to an amulet. An amulet? Earl, you're gonna be fine. I'll, I'll call you an ambulance. Dude, I don't think that's necessary. <laughs> don't talk like that. Earl. No! No! Whoa! Easy, fella. Just relax. Breathe. Okay? Why? Why would anyone do this? I don't know why. Who is this? He's... He was... He's my friend. I'm so sorry. He 
was so excited for me, you know? When you're a kid, you dream of flying or invisibility or whatever. You look in his eyes. I wouldn't have gone through this if it wasn't for him. I would have stayed home and flaked out like most people. We better get going before somebody shows up. What does it matter? So I get locked up. I get cut wide open so someone can figure out why I shoot lightning from my hands. So what? I'm going to end up the same place you do. I've taken a huge leap of faith following you here. Breaking protocol? Why should I care now? My friend is dead. You said if it weren't for him, you never would have done this, right? So what? Your friend believed in you. That look in his eye you mentioned? That was him living his childhood dreams through you. Dreams, huh? We'll take a good hard look at reality, lady. How dare you? You make it sound like giving up is the noble thing to do. Your friend is dead. And the only way that death matters is what you've done in your life until then. He helped make you who you are, right? Yeah. Then he will live on through you. Thunderstorm coming. going to be alright? I killed my best friend. When I get my hands on him, then I'll be more than alright. If you don't mind slowing down a little, it'd be appreciated. Sorry. My mom is gone for a second. That's understandable. I feel the same way. Can I ask you something? Sure. When we met up at the robbery, how did you know they were going to strike there? I was just doing what we're doing now. Driving around. I was keeping an eye on the local museums and, I don't know, it paid off, I guess. Strange coincidence, then? I suppose. Yes? I didn't say anything. Shh, shh, give me a sec. Fine. The guy's getting weirder by the moment. The old playhouse, then. What? That's where we're headed. The old playhouse. At some point, I'd love to know how you stumble upon these things. Are you sure this is the right place, sir? Not positive. Hell did leave me a small clue, though. Really? It was there, but only slight. Hell only mentioned the current owner of the playhouse and not his family. How is that a clue, sir? Oh. Still, though. She did not mention where to dig, though. There is a chance that we could be in the wrong location. What if it isn't here? I mean, we are using a ton of C4. Someone could hear us. I'll worry about that if we get there. Let's clear the room, gentlemen! Thunderstorm? Yeah, it's thunderstorm? Yes. No. It sounds like a thunderstorm. More like an explosion. We better move. Quickly! Do 
must hurry. The police won't take long to respond to that. I'm working on it as fast as we can, sir. Shut up and do it. I think I found something. Let me have a closer look. Perfect. Let's move. My God, this place is teeming with cops. There's no way we're getting in there. Agreed. Looks like we're too late. Never too late. Tonight, my brothers, we shall accomplish that which even Odin himself has never dreamed to do. He is a coward and a fool, and for that he shall fall by my hand, along with his son, the almighty Thor. You have all done well, and for that you shall be rewarded at the onset of Ragnarok. Evan, is everything ready? Yes, my queen. Let us begin the ceremony. Tonight, we shall awaken my brother, the Midgard Dragon. His wrath shall cause a havoc, the likes of which Midgard and Asgard have never seen before. Bidding. Anyone else got cold feet? Excellent. Let's proceed. Arise. Arise. Let Midgard bask in your power. With this spell. We shall become one. Let Midgard fall because of your power. It is time for worlds to fall. Come, let us welcome our brother to the world. <laughs> and watch the world fall. <laughs> You never filled me in on how all of this relates to you. Well, earlier at the police station we were talking about Norse mythology. Sure. What if I told you I was the great, 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 great times 100 grandson of Thor, god of thunder? Normally I'd have a psych evaluation done on you. But with you in the suit and the lightning and all, I've allowed myself to believe a bit of the unbelievable. So the curator explained what the amulet does, correct? Yeah. And if that rings true, you know we're all in trouble. Well, yeah, sure. So, basically, Thor has granted me these superpowers so that I can deal with the whole Ragnarok thing. The Ragnarok thing? Sounds like you need a bit of convincing yourself. Normal guy two days ago. Today, well. You made that suit in two days? Are you a seamstress or what? Serendipity being what it is. Earl and I have been working on this suit for years. It just so happens that I need it way more than the government does right now. That's quite the coincidence. Looks like it should be right about here. Question? Yeah. What would it be? Not sure. That's what scares me. Are you able to call for backup? Not likely. What am I supposed to say? Um, I'm in a car with the great-grandson of Thor, and we're going to try to stop a Norse god from destroying the world. Could you send a couple squad cars? 
<laughs> yeah. I think we're going Dutch on this one. Your name is Grant, wasn't it? Great. Thunderstorm. Great. I'm Glenda. I think we're here. Are you sure about that? Yep, I'd say pretty sure. Let's go. Give me a sec. I picked the wrong week to quit drinking. Fly, my brother. Destroy all that you see. Burn Midgard to the ground, and then on to Asgard. Go. Make sure we have no visitors. Do you think the police are on their way? Mm, yes, that and other things. Make sure we welcome them properly. Yes, my queen. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about this? Not 100%. That's reassuring. Probably around 90 though. Better? What are you gonna do about the dragon? Not sure. so far. But I'm bulletproof and I shoot lightning, so that's something. I've never seen, let alone fought a dragon before. I'll help as much as I can. This is the end of the road for you two. You should turn back the way you came. I don't think so. You son of a... Lady, getting rid of your muscle. I have all the muscle I need. Is that all you got? Bad breath? Here's something for you. <laughs> Is this the best that Asgard can come up with? You! You're the one who killed Earl! Well, if you're speaking about that shrew of a man who had no business involving himself in my affairs, yes. I am Hel, goddess of the underworld, future ruler of Asgard. Ah, uh, hell no. Hell yes!
are all the same. You come in here like self-righteous do-gooders, but when it all comes down to it, you have no heart. Nothing inside you to back up the words that you speak so eloquently. Ha! It's a shame, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, why don't you give up? With the powers you possess, you could sit among my followers. A general, if you like. I don't think so. Then you're a bigger fool than Odin. I grow tired of this game. It's time that I finish it! You've done well, my boy. Thank you, Great Odin. The savior of Asgard should not be on his knees. Rise, son. You've done very well indeed. I'm proud of you. I don't know what to say. How did I get here? We brought you here. So what becomes of Hell? She goes back to where she came from. It? You've not been to hell. Tis no celebration. Why did you bring me here? To thank you, personally, and to offer you the opportunity not normally given to mere mortals. We would like to welcome you to the halls of Asgard. You may reside here for eternity as a god among men. What say you? I'll be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of my normal life. I have, however, learned to embrace the powers that I have. What are you saying? I'm saying that the world, Midgard, is still teeming with those that wish to do harm. The world still needs, what did you call it? A champion. I'm still a little green, but I think there's still a lot of work to be done. What say you, Thor? As long as I may keep a watchful eye at all times, I see nothing wrong. Then it's settled. You shall henceforth be Midgard's champion. When you choose to, you may, of course, retire among us gods. Thank you, sirs. So, if you don't mind. Another crazy lightning Norse god thing. I'm seriously going to lose it. 
Can I help? <laughs> I thought you took off. Didn't seem very heroic, if you don't mind me saying. What happened to you? On any other day, you'd think I was crazy. But after today, you might just believe me. I probably don't want to know anyway. Is she going to be all right? She has a strong pulse. I think so. Here, let me help. What's going on? Uh, here, let me help you up. <sighs> the paperwork on this is going to be a bitch. 